Hi, I'm Philo Farnsworth. Who? Philo Farnsworth. I just said that. I was the first person to patent the television. Father of TV. Duh. I was born on August 19th, 1906. I was born in a log cabin in Utah. My family moved to a farm, and I found some radio and science magazines in the attic. I began to read and read, learning how to fix and remake household electronics. Like, one day, as Philo was looking over a plowed field, he saw, like, parallel lines, row after row. He realized that an image could be cut into rows, like, back and forth. To make one big picture, that's the idea for television was created. Like, totally. I attended Brigham Young University. Go Cougars! But I had to stop early because my father died and I needed to support my family. I later moved to Salt Lake City. Utah! <laughs> <laughs> Lake, Great Lakes, Huron, Ontario, Mission, Erie, Superior, Holmes, those are the Great Lakes. Holmes where the heart is. Heart pumps blood to the body. Blood is 83% water. Water. I'm the reason you are watching this. I'm amazing. You should be watching me. Back to my biography. Foo, Homer G, my brother, homeboy, yo, Ward, peace out, and watch my biography! Oh, and go Team Edward! Woo! Wait, what am I saying? I hate Twilight. Okay, bye-bye. Philo first showed his television in 1925, which allowed people to see his amazing idea and got him more funding. I still think I have the rights to patent because I was the first one to write your idea down. And therefore, I should receive some of the profit. <laughs> profit? You old coot, I came up with the idea. I told you because you were my chemistry teacher. You just wrote down the blackboard, son. And Philo's old teacher was not the only person to fight for the patent on Philo's television. Many companies wanted control of the profits going to Philo. Philo started his own company. Unfortunately, his company did not survive World War II and was bought by ITT in 1949. You ITT person, you're a pile of dog turds. Yeah, well, you're a duty face. My company made awesome electronics, such as a black light, basic radar, and infrared telescope. Philo was an amazing inventor, creating the first gyroscope. Gyro. Yay, we can see our digestive track. Digestive. Without you, Mr. Philo, sir, we would have never had Billy Ray, the best person ever. No, the best person in the world is human appearance. Best person ever. It's the best of both worlds because it's a party in the USA. It's the class. Well, 
Will you be quiet? The best person is me. Because I invented the modern television. No, your television was used till the late 1990s. Now we use other stuff that is flat and cool and awesome. Just like me. Psych! But like all good things, I cannot last. I died in 1971 from pneumonia. I know you are all devastated. I'm not. that Philo did not only create the modern television, he created America. Without television, we would not have all these celebrities or the ability to see what is happening in the world. Earthquakes, floods, war zones, or happy celebrations. Oh no, the color is coming! The color? What color? 